Hello and welcome to Hotel Flamingo, or rather I should say my office, my place I work, I draw, I sit and gaze off into the distance and uh, try to write. So yeah, so I thought it'd be nice to do some videos and uh, read some books and teach you how to draw some characters of mine and probably maybe sing a song and set you a few little challenges and well, I just have fun really. So today I'm going to start off by reading a little bit of Hotel Flamingo um, where we first meet some of the characters and we're going to draw T-Bear um, who's one of my favourite characters. He's uh, the door bear of the hotel so he welcomes everybody in, all the new guests as they arrive and um, he looks really good in a uniform. Here he is on the front and so to read this I'm going to put on my hat just like so. And uh, here we go. The sunniest hotel in town. Anna Dupont stepped out of the taxi and saw Hotel Flamingo for the first time. Oh, good grief! What a mess, she said. Hotel Flamingo was not a pretty sight and was quite unlike the photo in her hands. Its walls were grey and peeling, its windows were cracked and the revolving door had spun its last. A large old bear bumped his way through the broken door. He was wearing a bright red uniform with a tiny red hat, which sat between his large ears. Welcome to Hotel Flamingo, said the bear, trying to sound cheerful. The uh, sunniest hotel in town. There's nothing sunny about it, said Anna. Look at it. Hotel Flamingo is falling apart. The bear looked sad as though her words had hurt him. Oh, what's your name, Mr Bear? asked Anna. Tea Bear, miss, he said gruffly. I work on the door. You mean this place is still open, said Anna. Yes, miss, he replied, but we haven't had a guest for all three years. Anna picked up her suitcase and marched towards the door. Mr Bear, she said, I am the new owner of Hotel Flamingo. Things are going to change around here. T-Bear stamped her attention. You're the new boss, miss. He forced open the broken door with his powerful paw. Oh, after you, miss. Anna walked into the hotel lobby. The sight made her heart sink. The hotel was as bad inside as out. Cobwebs were draped wall to wall like curtains, and a crust of dust covered the carpet. And the smell? Well, Anna couldn't put her finger on it, but she thought the air stank of mouldy old socks with a hint of lemon. She sighed. Oh, we really do have a lot of work to do. She headed towards the once grand reception desk where she found a ring-tailed lemur hunched over the counter. Anna gave his shoulder a firm poke. The lemur jumped, his big eyes opening wide. Working hard, Mr Lemmy, she said, spotting his name badge. The lemur yawned. Ugh, brushed off my feet, he said, wearily rubbing his eyes. So I see, Anna said. It took a lot of effort to get Lemmy moving of a morning, but he had an excellent memory for guests and their needs. That was the job of a hotel concierge, after all. Uh, what day is it? asked Lemmy. Excuse me, said Anna. It really had been a long time since Lemmy had spoken to a guest. Sorry, he said, swiping dust from the counter. He opened a large leather-bound guest book and took hold of a pen. What sort of room would you like, madam? An ensuite or... A room, said Anna. I need an office. This is my hotel. I own it. Your hotel, he asked. He immediately stood more upright and brushed down his suit. That's right, said Anna. My great aunt Matilda left it to me in her will. I'm in charge now. Lemmy's round eyes opened wider still. Oh, I'm so, so sorry, miss, he said, before pointing to a frosted door behind him. The office is there, but it's in a bit of a mess. This whole place is in a bit of a mess, said Anna. Where are all the staff, the cleaners, the waiters? Well, they went long ago, said T-Bear, who was pacing around the lobby. It's just me and Lemmy now, miss. We're all that's left. Anna shook her head in disapproval. You need more than a lemur and a bear to run a hotel, she said. Oh, we agree, miss, said T-Bear. But there's no money to pay ourselves, let alone other staff. The safe is empty. Well, if you aren't being paid, why are you still here, she said. Because it's our home, he said warmly. Always has been. Always will be. Hotel Flamingo is in our bones. And if nothing else, Anna could see that T-Bear and Lemmy cared for the hotel. She walked through the lobby, surveying it like the captain of a ship. Well, as of now, it's my home too, said Anna. But if we all work hard and work together, who knows what we might achieve. 
Right then. Now, we best draw tea bear. Right then. Can you see this? Good. Have you got your pens and pencils ready? Because while you're doing this, you could always pause it if it gets too much. Um, but I'm going to go slowly. So tea bear, he's nice and easy to draw, but he starts out like a fried egg. Now, hopefully some of you might have well, might know what a fried egg is. So if we start off here, let's draw an overly shape like this. Like a weird squidgy circle. Now, to turn that into a fried egg, we need another bit, don't we? The yolk, that's right. So let's draw the yolk inside there like this. Most of my characters start off like this. Um, Harold, I can teach you to draw Harold another week, but Harold the hamster is very much like this as well. So now we've got our fried egg. What we need to draw is a lovely big nose. Like that. Now, once you've got the nose put in, you need to make a decision as to whether you want to be happy or sad. I want to make him happy. So let's draw a letter J, a J underneath here like this. Okay, and now we've got a smiley tea bear. So next up, he needs two ears. Okay, two ears. How are you getting on? Good. Right, now you need little bits inside the ears. Now, Tea Bear wears his hat, doesn't he? So the best way to put his hat on, and simplest way, is just to draw a line between the ears. Like that. And a little line there to make it look like his hat. Okay. Now, if you want to pause it while you get up to that bit, that's fine. Right, next up, he needs his two eyes. So let's give him his eyes. One, two, two eyes. Now, Tea Bear has sort of caterpillar kind of eyebrows. They're like squiggly caterpillars. So let's draw them on. There we are. Um, and if you've got that far, you'll have Tea Bear's head, which is always a treat. Lovely thing there. Tea Bear's body, probably most of you will have had an ice lolly in your time. And uh, Tea Bear's body is like a giant ice lolly, like this. Okay, so if you've drawn a giant ice lolly like that, you're almost there with Tea Bear, we're almost there. And we want to draw a line all the way across there like this. This is his, kind of his collar. Right, next up, put a line like this, and there's his collars. Um, great thing about when you're drawing is if you can just draw a line, you can say all sorts of things. So if you want to make Tea Bear have a bit of a tummy, because he does have a bit of a tummy, there you go, make it curve, a nice curvy round line. Now suddenly he's got a big tummy. Um, you want to put a little line along here as well, because his little outfit has a little line, as you can see here, just about here. Okay, now Tea Bear's arms and legs, they're sort of like squidgy sausages. Let's draw some squidgy sausages. One, two, there's his legs. Next up, you want to put his arms in. He's been very welcoming this. So you've got his arms and legs, squidgy sausages, but to make him look like he's got feet and hands, just draw a line across. There you are, now he's got feet, so let's put some toes on, or claws. And his hand as well, One, or claws again, sorry. Bears have paws. You might want to put it on. Okay, yeah, and he's probably got some little gold lines on it, things. Now, one thing's missing. If you work at Hotel Flamingo, you're going to have a name badge. So let's put his name badge on. And you want to write T Bear. Okay. Hello. And welcome.
How did you get on? Hopefully, they will look just like this. So you might want to colour him in, um, paint him nice bright red colour. And uh, now you can draw him, you can illustrate your own stories about Tea Bear. Now it's time for your word search challenge. Can you find an animal amongst all these letters? Now the, uh, the word might drift around a bit. It's not like a straight word search. So you're gonna have to be quite clever, but I will give you 15 seconds to find it. I'll give the answer at the end. Thank you ever so much for watching. Um, over the next few months I'm going to do more of these videos and teach you to draw more characters, not just about Hotel Flamingo, but we'll do some pig stick stuff. There are my Yeti books, Mythical Ninth Division. So I'm going to get crafty as well and show you how to make some things and we can maybe make some stuff together. So yes, maybe, I guess the big message is just keep well, look after people, don't go near people. Um, if you see someone wave at them and that's probably enough. So just look after yourselves and um, see you very soon. Oh, and if there's anything you want me to draw particularly, you can find me on Twitter and uh, Instagram, um, at Alex Millway, and I'll let you know when more are coming up. But if, yeah, if you've got any things you'd like me to try drawing or teach you to draw, just let me know. Okay, thanks ever so much. Bye. Aggie says, thank you for watching. And the word was... There!